Hey, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to another live stream. And today, if you guys have not already seen the start point, which is the name of this live stream, we are going to be unlocking the 262, which is a first international German fighter, which is a jet. And our job today is to unlock it and buy it and fly it. So, um, we have already have already gotten two jets, which was the ME-163B and the Hansen 229V3. Um, my goal is is to have all of the ME-262s and. My goal is to have this saber in the next few years. So, like. So, if you guys, if you, um, have or not already, please subscribe to me. If you guys have not already read the description below, follow me on Facebook, follow me on PlayStation, and please add me on YouTube. Not YouTube, but. Facebook, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't speak today. Um, please, uh, add me on Facebook. The name is Kyle Ordway, which is, if you guys don't know how to spell Ordway, it's O-R-D-W-A-Y. And if you don't know how to spell Kyle, it's K-Y-L-E. So it's obvious. Anyway, so if you guys have not already added and if you guys have not already subbed, if you guys have not already followed me, please follow me on YouTube and PlayStation 4. This is on PlayStation 4. If you are on a computer, this is, I'm aware of you right now, this is not on a PC. PC, I don't play PC games, I only do on PlayStation. But anyway, before we get started, this is going to be a warning. If you are offended, about the swastika or any type of symbol that is a part of the German history, you might as well just leave this live stream right now. Because if you do not like the German symbols, you're weak because it's part of history. If you are not offended, then you can stay and you guys can may enjoy and if you guys don't have any comments please comment below and I will respond and hopefully you guys can hear me I'm not positive this is just a live stream and this is going on YouTube so if you're in this live stream right now you're you're gonna be on YouTube so just tell you that right now anyway so let's go ahead and say that if you are offended about any type of symbol that it has to do with the Germans, hashtag don't play history games. If you are that sensitive that comes to flags or history in general, don't play any history games. And if you are offended with what I'm saying, you're in the wrong place. So. Anyway, let's do this shit. Let's unlock the ME262 right now. So, what we're going to be doing here is, we're going to be battling fighters, fighters after fighters, and it is 11.39 at night, and the date is 10.10.16. So, I'm going to be going ahead, and I'm going to be doing this until I get the ME262, and I have, I've, and if I do not have 230,000 before this is done, I will only have 145,000. But, I'm doing this because the German ME262 is my favorite fighter out of the entire history of jets in general. But, Let's talk about a little history here. What I know about history is I know about the P-51 Mustang. I know about all that. Basically, as you watch me play this game, 
we're going to be talking about history. Basically, what we're going to be talking here is, we're going to be talking about the Bombers, we're going to talk about the Falk Wolf, the 190, we're talking about the, the BF-109, and we're going to, of course, we're going to be talking about the P-51 Mustang, which is the most successful fighter to ever escort the bombers in World War II and 44 and 45. So basically, what I have the bombers and shit. What the hell is going on? Oh. Uh. What the hell is going on? Guys. Uh. I have no idea. Okay, I really do apologize about that, because I have uh, no idea what the hell was that. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, basically, we are going to talk about a little history. People have been asking me at school and shit if they want to know what the hell is a P-51. When somebody came up to me, and asked me what the hell is a P-51, I had like the most shocking face ever. Like, because if you're an American and you've actually paid attention to history class, you would know what the P-51 is. A P-51 Mustang was a long range fighter that was the most successful fighter to ever escort B-24s and B-17s through Berlin in 1944 and 1945. They were the most successful fighters to ever hit history. They were the ones that had the most kills. They were the ones that out that outrun Falk Wolves in 109. But the reason why they made the B the uh what was it? Uh how was that? Uh the only reason why they have made the P-51 Mustang was for a couple of reasons. Because for one, when they very first started bombing Germany in 43, they kept losing way too many bombers because the Falk Wolves and shit like that kept shooting them down. And it was causing them to lose too many bombers. And they, the fighters they have already had, they didn't have enough fuel to keep up with the bombers so they had to figure out a way to make a fighter that had enough fuel and could keep up with the bombers and escort them through Germany as they were bombing them so they had to figure out a way to make a fighter that was fast enough and could keep up with them without running out of fuel because the problem was that they were losing too many bombers and they said that bombing by themselves is not going to win the war so they had to figure out a way and say hey we need a fighter that can defend and escort these bombers so they can bomb more of Germany Germany got their ass handed to them in World War II oh my god it's glitching oh shit it's glitchy Oh my goodness, it's such a It's all oh, goodness gracious. Uh it's glitchy. But anyway, they were having a hard time when it comes to escorting bombers and they were having a hard time trying to Attack the enemy. bomb Germany because they kept losing too many bombers and they just get getting shot down and they were losing too many. So eventually they had to figure out a way to find out how we can successfully get through Germany without losing too many bombers. So they customized a fighter which was the P-51 Mustang and they made two versions of it. The first version was the, uh, the Red Tail P-51 Mustang and then they just made a P-51 Mustang V-12 because the Red Tail P-51 
51 Mustang was the was the first version of the T51 Mustang. That was successful, but not as successful. So they, it was a good fighter. It's just it wasn't like I said, it was a good fighter. But their problem was that the Red Tail Fox, the Red Tail uh, P51. Their problem was that it was run out of fuel. It was fast enough, but the fuel wasn't. It was too. It was run out of fuel too quickly. So they were like, "Hey, we need to do something here." And so they remastered the P51 Mustang to the P51 Mustang we know today, which was the P51 Mustang V12, which is the the most successful fighter to ever hit history. Basically. That's basically if it wasn't for the P51 Mustang, they would have lost the war. Pretty much. So, um they had to find a way to get to Germany, so they used the P51 Mustang. And their main enemy was the ME262. The 262 was like rise of hell for the B-17s and the B-24s. Basically, the problem with the B-20... No, no. The, the P-51 Mustang and the ME-262, the problem was between those two fighters was the P-51 Mustang was a really fast fighter, but so was the ME-262. The 262 can outrun the P-51 Mustang by speed, but what made them so successful was their turning. Their turning and the climate. The climate of the P-51 Mustang was the P-51 Mustang can turn a lot faster. It can respond to it. So they, could, they never could catch them in long range. In like fast battles, they had to cut the jet off. And as they would pass them, that's when they would shoot them. Basically, they had to shoot the ME262 as the 262 was turning. So, that's how they, because back in the beginning when they first built the jet, of course, the Americans were like, what the hell is that? And they were wondering, how the hell did that thing go so quick? And then as 44 was heading towards an end, and as 45 started in the beginning, they, they started the study of how to fight back at the end of T62. They figured out that you can't they can't fight it by speed. You have to cut it off. They have to use it by using the adjustment speed device. They had to basically pretty much they had to outrun it by cutting it off. So basically they have they had to out they had to outrun the enemy T62 by cutting it off. Because the engines were a lot more improved. They were definitely out there when it comes to speed, but that didn't stop the two, the P51 Mustang. They studied the how fast it was. They studied of how it turned. The turning on it was slower, but it was faster. But it was slower. So they would wait for the the MA262 to turn before they got a shot on. Them. When the two, 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 when the 262 would turn, that's when they had the chance of shooting. Now, on the rate of climb, the P-51 Mustang can climb, but the with the uh, ME-262 having jet engines, it can climb even higher. So the time that the ME-262 would even start to stall. The ME, the P-51 couldn't keep up with the ME-262 comes to climate and speed, but it can keep up with them by using turns. The turning was the key to knock out the ME-262 out of the sky. That's how that, see, when they were so successful, when they were in the war, was they used their head. They didn't try to fight it by going speed. They figured out a way to get around them without having to race them through the skies and try to see if they can keep up with the ME-262. 
because the M.E. 260 was a lot faster than any other plane in the war. So they had to figure out a way to get close to it and figure out a way to outsmart the pilots that flew the M.E. 260. So they decide, hey, well, instead of trying to race it through the clouds, why just try to cut it off? Because they figured out that it turns slower than the P-51 Mustang. So they would chase it through the skies, but then once they've turned, they would make a sharper turn because with the P-51 Mustang turning sharper than the MA-262, it can outrun the 262 by the turn. Turning was the key pretty much to success of knocking them out. And I really do apologize about my about my internet. My internet is so shit. I, it's, it's just been so laggy. I really do apologize. It's probably because of the live stream. It's causing its lag. So I really do apologize that's happening. But anyway. When they would use the P-51 Mustangs. They would, they would, they had to study the engines and the house speed and the turnings on it. But as 45 came around, they figured out that it turned slower because the ME262 is heavier than the P51 Mustang because of the jet engines. With the jet engines being big as they are. They, it would make the plane slower, and not even the jet engine, it's the cannons they had. The cannons on the ME-262 is a 30mm cannons, and that, that can also cause the plane to slow down and be heavy. Because when the plane's heavy, it doesn't turn very quickly. It does it turns fast, it just doesn't turn quite as quick. As the P-51 Mustang, because of the weight it has, with the plane being, having a little weight to them, it's causing it to turn not as fast, and that's how, when the P-51 Mustang would go for the kill, they would have a chance of catching the ME-262 when it would turn. So... That's how the P-51 was the most successful fighter, because they were the most successful fighter to ever get the bombers through Germany, and they were the only fighter to ever take out the ME-262, because back then, the ME-262 was the very first German fighter jet to ever exist on planet Earth, and to ever exist even in general. No fighter in World War II was ever committed as the jet. All of them had a motored engine like most fighters do. With the propellers on and everything, they had a regular engine like anybody else would expect. But the ME-262 had different engines in it. It had jet engines. So with them having jet engines in it, in the, in the ME-262, it can outrun the, ME, the uh, P-51 Mustang. But... It was heavy, the P fit, but the uh, the MA262 was heavy. So when it would turn, it would slow down. So that's when, when it would chase around the clouds, and when it would start to turn, that's when they would cut off the jet, and that's when they would have a chance to get to it. Because as they cut it off, they're getting closer to it. So it's basically, they're it's like basically trying to collide with it. But before they would collide, they would shoot. And get them in their sights. So the time that they would pass the P-51 Mustang. If he would have. If he basically had it in his sights. The time that he passes the MA-262. The 262 would have been shot to shreds. And shot down by the P-51 Mustang. Because. They figured out that the MA-262. Could not turn as fast. The turn time for the MA-262. Is 29 seconds. But. For the uh, P-51 Mustang is 19, 20. But the reason why that the P-51 Mustang can turn faster is because it's not as heavy. It's fast. It has a good engine in it. It was the most successful fighter 
and it got a lot of the bombers through Germany in 44 and 45. So, like I said, if you guys are new, please welcome to the uh, live stream, and I really do apologize about the glitchiness. The internet sucks shit, so I tried to make videos on my YouTube. If you guys have not already, you know, followed me on PS4, please hit that follow button and please leave a like. And if you guys have any comments, please comment down below. But the other guy knows I was talking about, I was talking about the P-51 Mustang, the B-17, and then you got the B-24, which is the bomber that destroyed Germany in 1944 and 45. There's people behind right there now. There's one. That's the dick one now. It says dick on it, so I'm not, I'm not saying gay is the word you use. Uh, well, yeah, guys, uh, I know a little about history myself that I take that history class. Like I said, if you guys do not know what T-51 is, you've got to go back to history class because everybody knows what the T-51 must be. If you do not know what it is, you have problems. Just telling you that up straight. You cannot say to somebody who is an American and tell them, hey, I don't know what a P-51 Mustang is, because they would look at you like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Because everybody knows what happens in World War II. The Germans were a bunch of dicks. They wanted to take over the entire world because they believed a retard called Adolf Hitler. And he told all these lies, telling everybody he said that he thinks that Je the Jewish people would make this country in this entire world a bad place. He thought that the Jewish was bad. He thought that they would make this place any better. They thought they were just bad people. So they would send Germans to, to basically, he wanted to destroy the entire Amish, not Amish, but Jewish community in general because for some known reason, Hitler did not accept the Jewish for some new reason. I have no idea why he didn't accept it. I guess he was just some racist. I guess he just didn't he just believe in the swastika. Even though that the swastika is not the Nazi symbol. A lot of people think that the Nazis when they come up with the swastika because the Nazis stole the original symbol from Egypt and they, they took the symbol away from the, what, the true meaning of the symbol. Because of that reason. But a lot of people think of Nazis that comes to the word swastika or Nazi symbol because the swastika, everybody knows what swastika is, it's the symbol of hate. But you gotta think, what who was using the symbol before even Hitler was around? The swastika was around way before even Hitler was even alive. You gotta think, who was using this symbol before even Hitler? It's obvious, the, the ancient, the ancient shit. The Egypt, the beliefs of the gods and shit. They used the symbol on pyramids and, you know, on gold shit, like temples and, and uh, statues. If you go to if you go to like ancient Egypt, you can find the swastika on shit like that. You can find them. You can find them. So you gotta think. The swastika does not belong to the Nazis. It belongs to ancient and the gods. Because the they so many groups use that symbol even before Hitler even got a hold of it. But ever since World War II started, everybody looks at the Nazi symbol as a racism. But really, it's not. Now, there's going to be people out there who are just going, they're just going to disagree with me. That's their choice. But I just think, in my opinion, if you think that the Nazi symbol is a hate and, a, and it's a word of terrorism and the word of hate, it's really not. But most people don't know that. 
because they apparently didn't pay attention to history class. It's either that or they just didn't teach them about that back when they were in school. Because there was a lot of people back in 40s that didn't teach them about that ancient shit. A lot of them, even in the 40s, they did not like the swastika because every time they would see or hear the word swastika, they would get offended, including the, the Jewish. The Jewish just doesn't accept it in general because the Germans destroyed the true meaning of the Germans destroyed the true meaning of the swastika. The swastika is actually a peace symbol. If you do not believe me, go on Google and type in the word swastika. The swastika is the original symbol for peace. Ever since Hitler used that symbol, man, everybody hates it. Everybody hates the symbol because he he destroyed the true meaning of that symbol. There was a lot of people that fought the Germans because people that believed in Hitler's speeches and then they salute him and the swastika, they got the whole thing wrong. They they basically trot, they basically destroyed this the uh the swastika because they thought that the swastika belonged to them. But the swastika was already used from a whole different group. You can find them in places. They just used it and then now everybody hates it because... You know, because of, it's just because of him, he destroyed it. He destroyed the meaning of the, the symbol and now everybody hates it because of that reason. Now everybody hates the symbol because... Hitler used the symbol and now when people look at the, the, the swastika, he doesn't even have to be on a Nazi flag. If they even see an X with four arms, they're the, first, the first thing they're going to think is Nazi, Nazi Germany. Because that's the symbol they've used in the war. They used the symbol in the war. You can find counterclockwise swastika and the first thing they will think is Nazi Germany. Because... Back in 1940, and started actually in 1932, they just started the swastika on the job on the the uh, the Nazi flag, but they they basically just put the symbol on the flag, and then the war did not start till the 1940s. It lasted five years in a row, but a lot of people don't appreciate when they see a swastika, the first thing they think is Hitler because he destroyed the symbol. He's the reason why that, that the symbol is no longer in peace because he put it on his flag in the 1930s and he used that flag in the 40s and when they would fall through Berlin and they would kill m so many Jewish that he basically showed people the true meaning of his evilness. And he decided to use the swastika and now everybody doesn't accept the symbol because of Hitler. Pretty much, if you're watching this live stream... You better best believe what I'm trying to say because I know a lot about history. If you don't believe what I'm telling you, all you have to do is pick up your phone and go on Google. No Google will tell you. Just type in the word sim the uh type in the word swastika and it'll tell you what it is. It's the symbol of peace. It's a peace symbol. It's not the word of hate. It's not the piece of the Jewish. It's a piece of symbol. People just think it's a piece of hate because of Hitler's army. They use the symbol and now no one in this world accepts the swastika because they it was being used in the 1940s in World War II. Now, back in 19... No, 1930s. No, not 1930s. 1920s. World War One was started. 
They never used the swastika, I don't think, in the in the First World War. But in the Second World War, every flag Hitler had had a swastika on it because he took the flag and he took the swastika and he took the true meaning of that symbol. I just don't see what, what the whole point that was. But you know, sometimes you just have a really messed up mind and then shit like that happens, like taking symbols that don't belong to you. But you know, sometimes that shit just happens. Glitchiness. You can't have this glitchiness in this game, dude. Come on. Stop the glitching. Stop the glitching. Stop glitching. I was having this problem earlier because the glitchiness. Because I have Sentry Link. I'm telling you this right now. Sentry Link. Do not get their internet. Their internet is trash. Their, their, their internet is trash. Don't even, they don't even, if you're in their area of Century Lake, don't even try to attempt to even try out their internet. Their internet is a failure. Their internet is the reason why our, us, is because, basically because of Century Link is the reason why my live stream is glitchy because of Century Link. So if you are planning on getting something like, do not get it. Because it's gonna fuck you over in the future. Because I had Century Link maybe no more than maybe a year. And every day it gets worse and worse and worse. So I suggest instead of being me as a dumbass using Century Link, be smart and don't use it. I'm a dumb fuck for using their stupid fucking router. Now look at me. I have to stick with it. Now, I regret going all the way up here in Newburgh using their internet. I'd rather have Comcast. Comcast? Now, some people have problems with Comcast. Me? I never did. I love Comcast. Some people have different opinions on Comcast, but I just have an opinion. My opinion is I love it. Yeah, I never had any problems with Comcast, but I have problems with Century Link. I hate Century Link, and I never will accept. It's stupid, and it's trash, but <laughs> it's kind of true, but you know, sometimes you just can't, you just have to accept the fact that you're not going to do everything you want. Sometimes you just have to accept the fact that you just have to deal with what you got. You can't always complain and get what you want. Complaining doesn't always solve your problems. Yeah, anyway. I just, I really do apologize of this fucking internet. I really do. I mean, I feel so embarrassed to use the internet and I'm trying to do a live stream for you guys and the first time I get used a live stream in forever, it's being trashed because of the fucking because of the century length box. Because the box is shit, I mean century length just in general, it sucks. I mean that's just me, it sucks. My strength not my strength, but my signal on my PS4 is only 83 percent. Sounds like they even have enough I'm not sure they even have enough signals to even get enough so I can do a live stream. I'm kind of surprised they even do. It's my internet. that shit. Oh, I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm taking. Oh, okay. Fuck it. Oh, well. But, so yeah, guys, I really, that, I just really hope you guys are enjoying the live stream. I just really hope you guys are. I mean, it's just so hard for me to try to play a gameplay for you guys. And Century Links is not helping me by glitching like that. By playing bounces and everything. I mean, it doesn't help. It doesn't help at all.
I'm still at 3,000, so shit. Where am I at with money? I'm at... Let's see. 1,881,589. 1, okay. So, if you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll... And I'll answer your questions if you guys have any. But, right now, we are at... Uh, 3,585. So I'm hoping next game that it won't be as glitchy because I already know from I already know right now it the next game is gonna be glitchy. I already know it's gonna be. We're gonna go ahead and use these, and then once I do get the MB262, I'll probably just end that there. So, uh, yeah, we're we're gonna do. do we're going to do, continue to do a little bit more battles. It's going on 12. So, I want to try to have this playing before 1 o'clock. I should be... I shouldn't be up, but... Shit. I've been... On, I've, been I've been researching this plane for fucking ages now. And I sure as hell don't feel like going tomorrow and doing these battles. I've been doing these battles... The one you can earn lions. I've been doing these battles for ages now. And yeah, I'm not doing this tomorrow, so I'm not doing it. So I'm getting it all done by tonight. So uh yeah. So if you guys have any comments, uh please let me know and I'll I'll make sure you have uh I'll make sure answer it. How many, how many is watching? How many is watching? I'm not sure if I can see the comments or not. I'm not positive. I know the last time somebody joined, I know that the last time they did that, it just showed and it just blanked and that's it. I'm not sure if it does the same thing for comments or it just does it just with people that joined. Like I said, I have not done a live stream in a little while. And it seems when I do the live stream, it's just being shitty right now. So I, I mean, I just feel, I just feel so upset when it comes to that because, I, I mean, I just didn't think that it would just be this terrible. So, I just, I mean, it's looking good right now. I just really hope it stays that way for now and I just, Glitch because I know back battle is glitching like crazy. Go uh, down already, you little bastard. There you go. Go down, you little prick. Go down. Well, at the end of him, he can go straight to hell where he belongs. Now, I'm gonna back off a little bit because I gotta get my guns reloaded. I gotta get my guns reloaded. So, let's go ahead and get that, that uh, reloaded, and then once that does get reloaded, hopefully we'll get another kill, and hopefully it won't be too glitchy, you know. Yeah, we'll do good this game. See, the better, the better I do, the better and the faster I have a chance of getting my Gimme 262. But still, I mean, I might not get it this game, I might not get it next game, I might not get it. I mean, it depends, basically, it's depending, I'm depending on my internet. My internet is just shit. It's just, I'm just depending on my internet. I need a lot of my Gimme 262. Man, U262 is a very good fighting jet. See, look, I'm trying to. See, look, you can tell it's glitchy. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's very glitchy where I fight planes. It's very, very glitchy. It's very hard to shoot fighters because of the glitchiness I have. It's just really hard to see. It's really hard to. To shoot because when you're trying to shoot the planes are bouncing the planes are bouncing and then when they're bounced they're shooting but then it's just not hitting them but then instead of you getting the kill you're getting your ass handed to you because of the internet and 
yeah, like I said, it's, uh, it's, it, it, I mean, all day today, I didn't have any type of problems at all making any type of problems that comes to playing this game. I was playing more Thunder for the past several hours, and I have not had any problems until, like, Larry just now. It's like when I start the live stream, it's like now the sudden it's like real glitchy. And now, while I'm trying to make gameplays, see, my game, see, my plane's twitching. I can see it. As I'm flying straight, my plane's falling and like not staying straight. Because of the internet. The internet's causing my plane to stay not stay straight. It's not properly, see, the plane is falling down like it's bouncing. Like it's hard. See, look, 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 look. How am I about to shoot planes? Like, see, look. See that shit? How am I hell am I gonna. Look at. How the hell am I. How the fuck. How the fuck. How the hell am I supposed to fucking get. Oh my god. Look at this shit. This is ridiculous. Wow, that took a little longer than usual. I'm not doing great because of the internet. Alright guys, well, I'm just going to end it here because... The live stream is just causing this fucking game to stop. I'll just upload... A video about me me unlocking the ME262 I'll just do a video because when I'm doing a live stream it's just causing my gameplay to be too glitchy I can't do good it's not making me get kills so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this live stream I really hope that you will subscribe to my channel just go down in the description below and just look in the description Type in what you see and subscribe to that channel. That's the other channel I have. I do videos on there too. I just do live streams on this channel, which is Kyle Oldwood, like I said in the beginning. I, on that channel, I just do live streams for my gameplay for my PlayStation 4. On, on Big Billy, which is my other account on my PS4, which is, on, which is my YouTube, I do gameplays. I do different gameplays of different games on that. But I just do videos. I don't do live streams. But, like I said, it's it's just being too much of a pain in the ass to, to deal with. And I just hope that you enjoyed the gameplay. I understand if you say, well, it's shit. It's understandable because my fucking internet sucks. And I, I tend to agree. Even though that's very terrible to say. But that's just me. Um, calling your own internet shit, which it is, but, eh. Well, guys, I, uh, I really hope that you follow me on PlayStation, and hopefully, if you been on my PlayStation and you guys been following me, I, hopefully I'll see you guys soon on the next live stream when my account, when well, not my account, but at least when my internet decides to properly work. I really hope I can see you guys in the next live stream I'll be doing. Probably the next live stream I will be doing is probably on the crew. Possibly. Because I've not done a video on the crew in a little while. So when they add the new update for the crew, I'll probably be doing a live stream for that. So um, yeah. So if you guys have not yet followed, follow and if you've been on my if you've been following me, I hope I'll see you guys see you in the next live stream. So uh keep updated on me. I'll try my best to do live streams for you guys. It's just I've been busy with school, I've been busy I've been busy at the firehouse, I've been busy with a lot of shit. I mean I just didn't have time to do live streams for you guys. I've I've been just been busy worrying about other things. I mean, I got I got other things to worry about besides just doing live streams on PlayStation. So, um, thank you guys for watching, and 
hopefully I'll get a lot of views on this channel and hopefully I'll get more subscribers as I do these live streams for you guys and uh, yeah I will hopefully you guys will be back in the next one so if you're new uh, follow if you're if you're done if you've been to my other live streams hopefully I'll see you soon so um, yeah see you guys bye